joined with Coach B. Coach B, 10 and 1 record. How does that sound? Feels great. Uh, couldn't be happier. It's um, a great day for UNO. It's a great day for my players. It's a great day for Amber. It's a great day for myself. We've come a long way. I'm so proud of my players, the way they performed today, the way they performed all season long. And the alone, the single match that we lost could have gone either way. Um, I couldn't be happier for the way they performed all season long. So we talked off camera and you mentioned the two big keys for you this season were health and depth. Do you want to elaborate on that? Well, the whole thing is this. We, uh, the depth part, without a doubt, we, can, we have nine players on our team. We can have a rotation if someone is not feeling well. The seventh player is a key factor. The eighth player is a key factor, ninth player. So depth is everything on this team. Anyone can fill in and, you know, they've been lifting each other up all season long. The other thing I've been praying for is that we were healthy all year long, and I'm praying, still praying, that we'll stay healthy through the conference tournament. I mean, that's been the key thing. I've told them this over and over. The success that we have this year will be based on our health and staying healthy, making good decisions on how we go about doing things, and they have done it so far, so I couldn't be happier for them. I've got two more questions for you. So the next one, I told you the story off camera, but uh, before the season started, Coach Garza and I spoke, and she mentioned to me, she said, this is the most up we have. You're going to be excited with this season. And now that the Southland regular season is over with the 10-1 record, a share of the conference championship, what does that speak about the recruiting process for you? Because you recruit these players, you know, you expect them to be exceptional, but you really don't know what you're getting until they get out on the court. Listen, I give a lot of credit to Amber. She's helped me throughout this process in the last few years. She's made me a better coach. Uh, I hope I've made her a better coach. And the key is, she, you know, I'm, I'm not so quick to predict how the season is going to go. The key thing, once again, like I mentioned, was health. And uh, I think uh, it shows that she had this confidence going in, the swagger. And I felt the same way because I felt like we really added to our team with depth. And I mean, Lena's come in. She's to me, she might be the player of the year. You have Estelle, you have, you know, and the returning players, they did a great job. They came back stronger. They worked on their games and they've been doing, I mean, then you have the addition of Ankh, who is, you know, you know at, a, at this level and performing day in and day out. Every one of these players have performed day in and day out. I mean, look, I give all the credit to the players. I give credit to Amber. I give, you know, it's been a team effort. Last question for you, coach. You go in, win a share of the Southland Championship. The expectation is to do that and now win Southland Tournament. What are you telling the team because they have a couple days before the next match? We're going to work as hard as we can. We're going to work harder. We're going to do things the right way and we're going to try to, we're going to stay healthy. We're going to help each other out. But the key to this, we're not content with this. We're not just content being Southland Co Conference champions. We want to get the bid to the NCAA tournament. We want to win this tournament. They're capable of doing anything. This team has great chemistry. They love one another. We have all the respect for each other. And I couldn't be happier for them to savor this moment and to savor the next one. Coach, congrats. Thank you.